Today, we're diving into a topic that's sure to make you feel like you need some extra breathing room. The most densely populated places on Earth. Get ready to learn about some seriously crowded cities and regions where people live practically on top of each other. We're talking towering skyscrapers, packed public transport, and maybe even some streets so crowded you'll wonder how anyone manages to get around. From the busiest place in New York to the most crowded part of India, here are 20 most densely populated places on the planet. Number 20. Manhattan, New York Ah, good old Manhattan, the city that never sleeps and apparently never stops filling up with people. With over 1.6 million residents crammed into its tiny 23 square miles, Manhattan is officially the most densely populated borough in New York City and one of the most densely populated places on Earth. But don't let that deter you from visiting or living on this iconic island. Manhattan may be small, but it packs a big punch when it comes to culture, finance, entertainment, and just about everything else. It's no wonder that the residents of the outer boroughs refer to it as the city. It's the heart of New York, and some would argue the heart of the world. From Wall Street in Lower Manhattan to the upscale shopping in Midtown to the exclusive high-rises of Upper Manhattan, the island is divided into three distinct areas, each with its unique vibe. And let's not forget the small adjacent islands like Roosevelt Island and Randalls and Wards Island, which add even more space to this crowded metropolis. But it's not just the people in the skyscrapers that make Manhattan unique. It's also the center of the global art market, with countless galleries and auction houses hosting some of the most valuable pieces of art in the world. And let's not forget the United Nations headquarters, which sits right in the heart of the city and hosts world leaders and diplomats from around the globe. So if you're looking for a place to call home, or just a place to visit, don't let Manhattan's high population density scare you off. It may be crowded, but it's also vibrant, exciting, and full of life. Plus, who doesn't love the idea of living in the cultural, financial, media, and entertainment capital of the world? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Manila, Philippines with a population density of 46,000 people per square mile, and that's still steadily growing, Manila is twice as crowded as New York City. Living in Manila can be quite an adventure. The city's population of 1.6 million is divided between a bustling business district in Makati City and impoverished communities on the outskirts. In these areas, families live in close quarters in makeshift homes built on stilts with clothes hanging from the rickety roofs. Flooding is a constant issue in Manila, and garbage can be found floating in polluted waters, creating a breeding ground for bacterial diseases. Despite the challenges, the people in Manila persevere. Daily life in the city is jam-packed, with people choosing between driving on busy highways or squeezing onto crowded buses and trains. With a growing number of people opting for motorcycles, driving can be riskier. And while malls are a staple of local culture, they too can be extremely crowded. Manila has grown rapidly over the last century, with a current fertility rate of 3.1 children per woman. The city has struggled with crime, overpopulation, and pollution, but despite all these challenges, it remains a vibrant and lively place to call home. With a predicted population of more than 10 million by 2024, Manila is on track to become one of the world's megacities. Number 18. Mail Island, Republic of Maldives this is Mail Island, the bustling capital of the Maldives. This tiny island may be small, but it's big on people. In fact, it's one of the most densely populated places on the planet. With over 250,000 people crammed into just 3.2 square miles, you can bet it's a lively and vibrant place to be. Despite its small size, Mail Island has everything you'd expect from a modern city. There are central courts, a government hospital, and even public and private schools. Mail's chief products are fish, coconuts, breadfruit, and woven palm mats, so you can bet the food is delicious and fresh. And if you're feeling a little cramped, you can always head to the Mail International Airport, which handles domestic and international flights. But be warned, you might have to squeeze through the crowds to get there. You can find almost anything you need on this island, but if you look at it from above, it might look like a pretty constricting and claustrophobic place to live. Number 17. Singapore 
The current population of Singapore is about 5,900,000 as of 2023. Singapore is estimated to have a population density of 21,646 people per square mile. To put that into perspective, Singapore has a total area of about 278 square miles and a coastline of approximately 119 miles. That means this bustling island state is about 0.9 times the size of New York City. Despite being one of the most densely populated countries in the world, Singapore remains a highly desirable place to live. The city-state boasts world-class healthcare, a robust education system, and low crime rates, making it an attractive destination for families and young professionals. Singaporeans are proud of their country's cleanliness, safety, and efficiency, and it's hard not to appreciate how well-maintained the city is, from the lush greenery of its parks to the stunning architecture of its buildings. Living in Singapore also means having access to a vibrant food scene. The country's diverse mix of cultures has given rise to various culinary options, from hawker centers serving local favorites like laksa and chicken rice to high-end restaurants helmed by Michelin-starred chefs. But living in a densely populated city like Singapore also has challenges. Housing can be expensive and apartments can be small, but the government has made efforts to provide affordable public housing to Singaporeans. The city can sometimes feel crowded, especially during rush hour when commuters pack into the train cars like sardines. But again, Singaporeans take pride in their efficiency, and their trains run like clockwork. Number 16. St. Jamestown Neighborhood, Toronto If you thought your apartment building was crowded, think again. Welcome to St. Jamestown, the neighborhood in Toronto that's home to some of the tallest residential buildings in all of Canada. With over 19 high-rise buildings and a population of more than 17,000, it's no wonder St. Jamestown is often referred to as one of the most densely populated areas on Earth. But don't let the population density scare you away. Living in St. Jamestown can actually be quite pleasant. The neighborhood has a vibrant and diverse community, with people from all walks of life and cultural backgrounds. You'll find a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and entertainment options to choose from, so there's always something new to discover. Of course, with so many people living in such close proximity, there's bound to be a few challenges. Elevator traffic can be a real issue during peak times, so you might want to consider taking the stairs if you feel up to it. And forget about having a private outdoor space. In St. Jamestown, your balcony will likely be just a few feet away from your neighbors. But despite these challenges, many residents of St. Jamestown love their community and wouldn't want to live anywhere else. There's a real sense of community spirit here, and people are always willing to lend a helping hand to their neighbors. Number 15. Magingo Island, Lake Victoria Magingo is a tiny island with a big story. This rocky outcrop in Lake Victoria may only measure half an acre, but it's home to a whopping 500 people, making it one of the most densely populated places on Earth. And with prime real estate for catching Nile perch, it's no wonder that both Kenya and Uganda have been vying for control over the island since the early 2000s. The conflict peaked in 2009 when the two nations engaged in what has been dubbed Africa's smallest war. Since then, there have been numerous attempts at peace, including joint surveys and agreements for co-management of the island. However, tensions still run high, with territorial disputes and cultural differences causing clashes between the Kenyan and Ugandan forces stationed on the island. But amidst the conflict, life goes on for the island's residents, who work as fishermen during the day and enjoy the company of prostitutes from Kenya by night. And with the waters around the island teeming with Nile perch, it's no surprise that everyone wants a piece of Magingo. Number 14. Tin Shui Wai Nu Tin Shui Wai Nu Town in Hong Kong has a population density that will make your head spin. With around 175,880 people per square mile, it's no wonder the cramped public housing is home to many new immigrants from mainland China who are still trying to adjust to urban living. But that's not all. Tin Shui Wai also has a reputation as a city of sadness due to the series of suicides and family tragedies that occurred there in the early 2000s. Despite these challenges, Tin Shui Wai has a human story to tell. The streets are filled with elderly people and children, while parents work long hours in the commercial districts of Hong Kong. Though unemployment and poverty persist, residents keep quietly getting by. The area has a charming rural feel with its wetlands, old village settlements, and even bird cages in the park. 
a rare sight in modern urban areas. Number 13. Mumbai, India Mumbai, also known as the City of Dreams, is the financial and commercial capital of India. Located on the coast of Maharashtra, it's one of the most densely populated cities in the world, with over 23 million inhabitants. Originally named after a local goddess, the city was later renamed Bombay during British colonial rule, but officially changed back to Mumbai in 1995. The city is famous for its diverse manufacturing industry, including a booming IT sector, and is also home to India's major financial institutions. Despite its success, Mumbai faces challenges like pollution, substandard housing, and overcrowding, but it remains a hub of culture, entertainment, and opportunity. With its bustling streets, colorful markets, and rich history, Mumbai is a city that never fails to impress. Number 12. Tondo District, Manila, Philippines Tondo, Philippines is a bustling district located in the northern part of Manila. It's one of the most densely populated and busiest locations in the entire world. The streets are constantly teeming with people, cars, jeepneys, and tricycles, making them a never-ending spectacle of movement and sound. Despite its reputation as a crowded and chaotic area, Tondo is a hub of commerce, trade, and industry. The district is home to many large-scale manufacturing facilities and factories, producing a wide range of goods such as textiles, furniture, and electronics. The Port of Manila, one of the busiest ports in Asia, is also located in Tondo, making it a critical gateway for international trade. But Tondo is not just about business and industry. It's a vibrant and culturally rich community with a history that dates back to pre-colonial times. The district is home to many historic landmarks, including the Santo Nino de Tondo Parish Church and the Gagalangan Cemetery, where many national heroes and prominent figures are buried. Number 11. Mathar Slums Mathar is a place that's hard to describe. It's a place where you'll find an overwhelming sense of community despite the difficult living conditions. With a population of around 500,000 people, Mathar is one of the largest slums in Nairobi. The oldest part of the slum, Mathar Valley alone, has a population of around 180,000 people. The name Mathar came from the Kikuyu language, meaning branch. It's said that during colonial times, Mathar was a quarry where stones were dug up for construction. It wasn't a valley back then. It became one by digging. Eventually, people started building huts next to each other without any plan. Today, Mathar has a population of around 96,000 people crammed into a small space. Despite its difficult living conditions, Mathar is a vibrant and dynamic community. It's a place where people support each other and work together to make the best of what they have. Mathar is a reminder that even in the most harrowing circumstances, people can come together to create a sense of belonging and hope. Number 10. Kibera This bustling neighborhood is home to over 170,000 people, making it one of the most densely populated areas in the world. Living conditions in Kibera are notoriously difficult, with a lack of basic amenities such as sanitation, clean water, and adequate housing. Despite this, the people of Kibera have created a vibrant and resilient community that thrives amidst the challenges they face. Walking through the narrow streets of Kibera, you'll see a colorful and lively scene. Residents go about their daily lives, children play and learn in the streets, and vendors sell food and other goods. Life in Kibera may be challenging, but the spirit of the community is undeniably strong. Kibera's history is a fascinating one. It was initially a Nubian settlement established in 1918, but grew rapidly due to an influx of people searching for work during the colonial period. Today, Kibera is a melting pot of culture and ethnicities, with people from all over Kenya and beyond calling it home. Number 9. Hosina Favela, Rio de Janeiro Nestled on a steep hillside overlooking Rio de Janeiro, this vibrant community is a sight to behold. With its unique mix of colorful buildings, bustling streets, and stunning views, Hosina is a place like no other. However, life in this favela is not easy. With a population of around 200,000 people, living conditions can be harsh. Many residents struggle with poverty, limited access to essential services such as healthcare and education, and the constant threat of violence. Despite these challenges, the people of Hasina are resilient and resourceful, finding creative ways to make ends meet and support their families. 
Walking through the narrow streets of Hosina, you'll see a vibrant mix of businesses, from small shops selling fresh produce and snacks, to larger stores offering everything from clothing to electronics. The sounds of music and laughter fill the air as children play and adults go about their daily routines. But life here is not without its dangers. Related violence is a constant threat, with gangs vying for control of the favela's lucrative trade. Number 8. Santa Cruz del Islote Santa Cruz del Islote is like something out of a magical realism novel by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. It's an island located across from the Gulf of Morrosquillo in Colombia that's home to 97 houses and 18 families. With its small square and a cross in the middle, it's a perfect example of a vibrant and tight-knit community. The locals make a living through fishing and offering services such as cooking, cleaning, and guiding tourists to luxurious hotels on neighboring islands. The island is full of life with a youthful population of about 65%. There's always something happening, with children playing on the shore, learning to fish and swim, dreadlocked and tattooed teenagers listening to Spanish-language rap music, and adults relaxing in the shade and preparing food. There's no crime to worry about, and the streets are alive with traditional games and socializing. The parties on the island are legendary and can last up to three days. With plenty of beer and rum cacique to drink, people dance late into the night to the sounds of dance hall, champeta, and vallenato. Despite its size, Santa Cruz del Islote isn't an easy place to live. No toilets or sewers exist, and residents rely on fishing and shipped-in supplies for food and necessities. But the island's unique character and sense of community more than make up for these challenges. As the younger generation becomes more aware of the outside world through the internet, many plan to leave the island to build new lives on the mainland. It might not be long until this place falls off the list of the most densely populated areas on the planet. Number 7. Kolkata, India As a bustling city of over 14 million people, Kolkata is a true metropolis with an infectious energy and a rich history that dates back to British colonial rule. Formerly known as Calcutta, this West Bengal capital has been rebrandished to better reflect its local heritage, earning the name Kolkata in 2001. But no matter what you call it, this is a city that's impossible to ignore as it sits on the east bank of the Hooghly River, an important trade hub for centuries. With a bustling port and a thriving manufacturing sector, Kolkata has long been a hub of commerce and trade, drawing in migrants from all over India and beyond. It's no surprise then that this city is one of the most densely populated in the country, with millions of people vying for space in just 40 square miles of urban area. But despite the challenges of living in such a densely packed city, Kolkata's residents are a remarkably vibrant and passionate bunch. You can see it in their love for art and culture, with book fairs, art exhibitions, and concerts drawing huge crowds. And you can hear it in lively debates and political discussions throughout the city. As a city that's grown out of its colonial past, Kolkata has a unique identity that's forged from a blend of Eastern and Western influences. This is evident in the works of the legendary Bengali poet and mystic Rabindranath Tagore, who helped shape Kolkata's cultural landscape in the 19th century. Number 6. Bogota With over 7 million inhabitants, Bogota is one of the largest cities in the world, and it's not hard to see why it's such a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. Living in Bogota is like being at the center of a whirlwind of energy, where the streets are always buzzing with activity. Whether you're looking for world-class cuisine, incredible art, or simply a place to people watch, Bogota has got you covered. And with a population density that can make your head spin, it's no wonder the city is constantly in motion. But don't let the crowds intimidate you. There's something for everyone in Bogota. History buffs can explore the city's colonial past by visiting landmarks like La Candelaria, the oldest neighborhood in the city. Meanwhile, nature lovers can escape the hustle and bustle by taking a hike up to Montserrat, a mountain that towers over the city. Bogota is also a hub for culture, with countless museums, galleries, and theaters showcasing the best of Colombian art and music. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even take a salsa dancing class and impress the locals with your moves. Number 5. Cairo, Egypt Egypt is a country that attracts millions of tourists. But even without international visitors, this country has a bustling population, particularly Cairo. 
This bustling city is estimated to have a population of 22,183,200 as of 2023, which is a pretty impressive increase from 2,493,514 back in 1950. Cairo has grown by 433,180 in the last year alone, which is a significant change. And you know what? I have a feeling it's not done growing yet. In 2016, Cairo was estimated to have a population as high as 12 million, with a metropolitan population of 20.5 million. That makes it the largest city in Africa and the Middle East, and the 17th largest metro area in the world. Moreover, nearly 100% of Egypt's population lives in Cairo, Alexandria, or elsewhere along the Nile River banks and the Suez Canal. That's a lot of people. Now, let's talk about density. Cairo and other major regions in the country are some of the most densely populated in the world. Cairo itself has a population density of 19,365 people per square kilometer, which ranks 13th in the world. And to put it in perspective, the greater Cairo area has over 20 million people, making it the third largest urban area in the Islamic world behind Jakarta and Karachi. Like other megacities, Cairo has issues with traffic, population, and waste. To combat some of the high pollution levels, the Cairo Metro opened in 1987. It ranks 15th busiest in the world and serves over 1 billion annual riders. Speaking of megacities, the term is defined as a city with a population of over 10 million people. The UN lists 33 cities in the world as megacities. Cairo and a few others in this video are on the list. Number 4. Darabi Slums you might have already heard about the Darabi slums. It's the real-life slumdog millionaire town in Mumbai. And let me tell you, it's a world of its own. This place is packed with blue tarpaulin-lined huts and shanties that stretch as far as the eye can see. And it's not just a few people living there, oh no. We're talking about a whopping estimated population of over 1 million people crammed into an area of just 2.1 square kilometers. That's like a whole city living in your living room. No wonder it's considered one of the densest places in the world, with a population density of over 480,000 people per square kilometer. Number 3. Tokyo, Japan Tokyo is one of the most famous cities in the world, so it's understandable that Tokyo is among the most densely populated places on Earth. The city has been having an overcrowding issue, and the Japanese government has devised a unique solution to tackle the problem. It involves paying families to move out of the city and into less populated areas of the country. Families living in the Tokyo metropolitan area can receive 1 million yen per child if they move to other regions of Japan. This isn't the first time that the government has tried to encourage people to leave the capital, but it's definitely the most generous plan yet, offering three times the amount currently provided. It's no secret that Tokyo is one of the most crowded cities in the world, with a population of roughly 37 million residents. That's a lot of people to bump into on the street or squish into a rush hour train with. Tokyo's popularity means that it attracts many people seeking job opportunities, but it also means that it's bursting at the seams, with tourist hospitals and popular areas often overcrowded. In fact, according to the 2019 update of Demographia World Urban Areas, Tokyo is the largest megacity in the world. It houses about 10% of Japan's population and is the most populous urban area in the world. That's a lot of people packed into one city. The Japanese government's initiative aims to revitalize countryside towns and boost the country's falling birth rate, while also reducing the population density in Tokyo. It's a win-win situation for families looking for a change of scenery and the government hoping to alleviate the overcrowding issue in the capital. Number 2. Kowloon Walled City, Hong Kong Now let's talk about the most interesting place on Earth. Kowloon Walled City might not be considered the most densely populated place on the planet, but it's definitely one of the most interesting. Kowloon Walled City was a unique place in Hong Kong, known for being a self-regulating and self-determining society where lawlessness reigned and life was a constant struggle. It was densely populated, with over 33,000 residents crammed into a space barely a hundredth of a square mile. Despite its small space, it had 350 buildings, almost all between 10 and 14 stories high, with 8,500 premises and 10,700 households. The Kowloon Walled City was a Chinese fortress constructed after the First Opium War. 
It remained Chinese territory even after Hong Kong was leased to the British. With an uncertain political status, it became a squatter's paradise and a densely populated area. The city was characterized by narrow, dark alleyways dripping with water and surrounded by buildings that seemed like one massive structure. The infrastructure was a maze of pathways that continued several stories up, and the only option for the postman was often to climb to deliver mail. Kowloon Walled City was also home to hundreds of factories that produced everything from fish balls to golf balls. Unlicensed doctors and dentists clustered together, advertising their services with electric signs hanging over their premises. For the adventurous, dog and snake meat were specialties of the city, along with gambling parlors. Kowloon Walled City was an anarchist society, self-regulating and self-determining, with no law enforcement. It was a place where people fought to survive against all odds. Today, Kowloon Walled City is no longer in existence. It was demolished in the 1990s, and a park was built in its place. The park features remnants of the old city, such as the Yamen, the South Gate, and the remnants of the city walls. Number 1. Chennai, India Ah, Chennai, the bustling capital city of Tamil Nadu. With a population of nearly 12 million people, it's no wonder that Chennai ranks as one of the largest urban areas in the world. The city has a rich history, ruled by various kingdoms over the centuries before being purchased by the British East India Company in the 17th century. They established the city of Madras and built Fort St. George, which later became the winter capital of the Madras Presidency during British rule. Today, Chennai is a thriving metropolis known for its vibrant culture and delicious food. From the famous Marina Beach to the stunning Kapaliswarar Temple, there's no shortage of things to see and do in this exciting city. And let's not forget about the food. Chennai is known for its spicy and flavorful cuisine, featuring dishes like dosas, idlis, and biryanis that are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Again, it can be pretty claustrophobic, but hey, the diversity in this community is unmatched. And that's a wrap. Hopefully it didn't feel too claustrophobic in these places. Now before you go, let me know if you had the chance to visit one of these places before. Who knows, you might have even experienced living in one of these locations. Let us know about your experiences in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.